Well, if you don't have a pool, a popular location to try and beat the heat this week is going to be a community pool. But you need extra protection there as well from these extreme temperatures. Sally Jaramillo stopped by the Desert Breeze Aquatic Center with how they're keeping swimmers safe. Even though pools are open and you are enjoying yourself, it's always a good reminder that you pause to fun, get out the sun, and hydrate. Desert Breeze Recreation Specialist Travis Smith says every year safety is their number one priority and therefore reminds visitors that even though the pool may feel very nice and comfortable, drinking water is a necessity, even when you're not thirsty. So if you visit the pool, you must have a plan, pack extra water and snacks, and especially take breaks. Dehydration can occur with water loss from sweating and in the long run cause nausea, vomiting and muscle cramps. Even inside the pool, dehydration still affects you. One thing that people don't notice is when they're in the water, they don't feel themselves sweating because they're wet everywhere. So it's really important to keep in mind that just because you don't feel that sweat, you are sweating while you're in the pool. At Desert Breeze Recreational Center, Smith says they have safety breaks every two to three hours where they ask everyone to get out of the pool, drink water, put on sunscreen and have a snack if they need it. Smith says lifeguards are still in high demand. Currently, they are looking for certified ones. Reporting, Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now. Another reminder, if your child is under 8, you're always required to stay by their side.